Hi, I'm Maa Salah from Middle East Monitor, and today I'll be showing you how to make fatayr jibna. I, like many others, love cheese and I love bread. When put together, there is nothing like it. It's so simple, but so good. Just about every culture has some sort of cheese and bread concoction, and I rarely hear anyone not loving this combination. Today I'll be showing you just one of the ways the Middle East combines the two. Fatayr jibna, which translates to cheese pies, is really easy and comes together super fast with this 10 minute dough recipe. Don't be intimidated by the word dough because this one is pretty fail proof and once you learn it, I promise you'll be making it often. It's versatile and quick to make. And after I learned to make it, fatayr became a regular occurrence at my house and I've turned my back on store-bought ones. Versions of the filling are made across the Middle East, each using their own mix of cheeses and herbs. My favorite cheese to use is Turkish white cheese, which is soft and crumbly like feta, but much less salty. Another good option is halloumi, although the texture will be different. If you're a fan of a good cheese pull, you can add a handful or two of shredded mozzarella to either cheese. I like to add parsley to cut through the richness and nigella seeds. Don't skip the nigella seeds, they add such a lovely flavor. When it comes to forming the dough, the possibilities are endless. You could do open boat shapes, braids, triangles, whatever you like. I like to make these little bun shapes because they're easy and perfect to eat on the go. Once you've formed them, brush your fatayr with an egg wash or milk. I personally prefer milk and sprinkle with nigella seeds if you like. Bake until golden and they're ready. Serve on their own with a cup of tea for breakfast or with a salad or veggies on the side. Once you sink your teeth into these soft, cheesy pillows, you'll be hooked. 